The Psychology Hub presents How to Stop Overthinking Everything You Do Knowing how to think is absolutely essential for progress in every area of life, but do you know when it's too much? From technological advances to political achievements and economic success, without the ability to think consciously, human beings wouldn't have come far. It seems logical then that overthinking would be a positive trait. But no. The Psychology Hub has just released an article on why this isn't always so, and provides invaluable tips on how to stop overthinking everything you do. Don't get stuck doing all that thinking now, go learn more about why overdoing it might not bring out your best self, after all. Let's face it, overthinking has the potential to do more harm than good in our lives. It can lead us down a rabbit hole of doubt and negativity that keeps us from taking action on things vital to ourselves, whether it's how we feel about others or situations. But don't worry. With some conscious effort, there are ways you can break this negative pattern and reclaim your happiness back. Number 1. Alter your approach to decision-making. It's time to reassess our approach towards decision-making and try a different tactic. When we fall into an overthinking cycle, it tends to stem from fear, the worry that something won't turn out how we want or will lead us down an embarrassing path to failure. However, know that ruminating about things does not actually help you make better decisions in the long run. So take some deep breaths before diving headfirst into any new challenges on your quest for success. Be sure to go with confidence instead of anxiety. When faced with a challenging situation, it can be tempting to give in and let fear take over. But instead of letting worry stand in the way of progress, we should see every obstacle as an opportunity for growth. Even if things don't go right now, eventually you'll gain insight that will help prepare you better down the road when similar obstacles come up again. Number 2. Adopt a can-do attitude. Are you feeling stuck? you're probably suffering from something called analysis paralysis. Instead of letting your thoughts and worries get the best of you, why not try taking action? Even if it doesn't work out as planned, don't be discouraged, this is an opportunity to improvise and continue fighting on. Push forward and make things happen. Number 3. Consider the big picture. It's easy to get wrapped up in small details and overthink insignificant problems. If you can focus on the master plan both literally or figuratively and look at things from a bigger perspective, it will help put those worries into context so they don't seem overwhelming. Ask yourself if this issue is really worth stressing about in the long term. Chances are that next month, year or even decade down the line, it won't matter as much anymore. By looking at things with perspective rather than intense scrutiny, you can take back control and free up mental energy. Number 4. Don't wait for the ideal time. Have you ever put off a really important task because you were convinced that the perfect moment hadn't arrived yet? We've all done this at one point or another. Paralyzing ourselves with thoughts like what if I don't have enough money? And what if it doesn't turn out well? can be so overwhelming, we end up not doing anything in fear of making the wrong decision. The truth is, there's never an ideal time to do something, stop waiting for perfection, take initiative and make your dreams come true. Life is full of things we have to get done, but sometimes the fear or pressure of making it perfect can be so overwhelming that they never actually happen. When life presents you with big decisions, like starting a business or writing a book, keep in mind there's no such thing as an ideal moment, don't overthink and let yourself just go for it. Number 5. Set a deadline to avoid procrastination. Making decisions isn't always easy, being presented with too many options can make us feel overwhelmed, and, if given the chance to overthink things for too long, it's tempting to do so. That's why setting a time limit is key. It helps you focus on what matters most and trust yourself that whatever decision you come up with within your allotted time frame will be the right one. And don't forget, choose a time frame appropriate for each decision. 
something suitable when choosing an outfit won't necessarily work when deciding which career path would best suit you. When your countdown clock runs out, stick by whatever choice or solution comes naturally and go forth into bold new horizons. Number 6. Focus on doing your best and let go of the rest. It's easy to be overwhelmed by the unknown when faced with a new situation. You might find yourself second-guessing your skills and capabilities, worrying you won't have what it takes. If this happens to you, remember. Just do your best. All that matters is putting in every effort into whatever task lies ahead of you, don't fret about something outside of your control or beyond what's within reach at that moment in time. Put forth all the work and dedication needed for success right then and there, after all has been done. Let go of the rest. Trust that things will play out as they should. Number 7. Train yourself to identify and eliminate unnecessary thoughts. Too often, we can get caught up in the little details and not see the bigger picture. This is known as overthinking, when our minds go down a less than helpful rabbit hole. Instead of worrying endlessly about something that doesn't matter, take some time to think through whether what you are thinking really adds value or will help further your goals. If it isn't helping out in any way, cut yourself off from those thoughts. Don't let your fears take control, instead, realize that overthinking won't do you any good. Learn to recognize the worries and anxieties for what they are. Nothing more than mental obstacles blocking you from enjoying life's experiences. Then give yourself a simple command, one of strength and courage, to break through those barriers so that all your attention can be devoted solely on whatever task is at hand. Number 8. Take time to reflect on your actions and thoughts. With the stresses of everyday life, it's easy to get overwhelmed with negative thoughts. But one helpful tip is that practicing introspection can help you gain clarity and rid yourself of unnecessary overthinking. Number 8 on your list should be giving this a go. Grabbing pen and paper, writing down all those racing worries will put them into perspective. You could even attempt putting things right by creating another column beside these troubling feelings. Make an action plan if there's anything feasible. Or simply write, nothing more I can do next to any issues out of your control. Recognizing how powerful some self-reflection exercises are may just clear away inertia, taking charge makes for mental confidence. Number 9. Consider the worst case scenario. We all know the power of our own minds. Sometimes, they can frighten us by envisioning a dire outcome to any new situation we find ourselves in. However, instead of letting that fear take over and hold you back from exploring exciting possibilities, try taking a step back to really assess what's the worst possible thing that could happen. Chances are, it won't be as bad as your mind made it out to be. With a job interview on the horizon, you may start to feel overwhelmed and worried. But take it easy, since failing an interview is hardly catastrophic. It merely means having to explore other opportunities that are out there. Reframing our thoughts in this way can be incredibly helpful when we come up against stressful situations, eliminating much of the unnecessary mental energy associated with worrying about worst-case scenarios. Number 10. Be realistic in your expectations of yourself. We all want to be successful, but it's important not to dissect every setback and mistake. Too often, we let our ambition get the best of us, punishing ourselves for any errors or hiccups along the way. But that won't help you progress, in fact, it will only hinder your potential. It takes a conscious effort to ease up on yourself before moving forward with whatever goal you're trying to attain. So, remember. Give yourself some space if things don't go as planned, accept imperfection, and make sure number 10 is off limits when hitting those targets. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns, but it's important to remember that not every bad moment needs a big reaction. Don't beat yourself up over things you can't control, we all make mistakes. You'll find that the more forgiving you are towards yourself, the easier confidence will come naturally. 
Here's to learning from past experiences and looking forward with optimism. Number 11. Think critically and purposefully. When it comes to life's pressing matters, number 11 is key. Don't just think, but think usefully. To exemplify this idea, instead of ruminating on how you can't get a promotion at work without some kind of miracle happening, perhaps put useful thoughts into action. Ask yourself what adjustments and additional skills or knowledge are needed in order for the promotion to happen. By doing so, you make steps towards your end goal, yet still remain mindful not to overthink things out of our control. Don't let anxiety prevent you from seizing an opportunity. You've already done your part. So all that's left is waiting to see what the boss decides. Instead of stewing over possible scenarios and outcomes outside of your control, use those thoughts as motivation for looking inward at where improvements can be made. Number 12. Believe in yourself and your abilities. When it comes to the future, don't let yourself get overwhelmed with worries. Instead, take a step back and trust you have what it takes. Feeling insecure about ourselves can lead us down the path of overthinking every little detail, but that's not very helpful. We all possess the power within us to tackle whatever life throws our way, it just needs cultivating from time to time. So be sure you give yourself some credit for your strengths and remember number 12. Trust yourself. Confronting difficult situations is part of life, but you have the power to make it easier on yourself. Remember that trusting your own judgment and ability will be key in pushing through. It's natural to feel overwhelmed when faced with a tough decision, we've all been there. But if overanalyzing becomes chronic, taking some steps can help break this habit so it doesn't take charge of your life. We all want to be in control, but the truth is that life doesn't always work out as we plan. Overthinking can often be traced back to our desire for absolute command over every aspect of our lives, something which is impossible. Unless we make peace with this fact and come to terms with what's beyond our power, fixing these anxious thought patterns will remain a challenge. Are you a deep thinker, an overanalyzer? We want to know what's going on in that busy brain of yours. Show us some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your friends so they can enjoy too. There's more fun where this came from. Subscribe now and make sure the notification bell is clicked for new content notifications. Thanks again for joining us here at our channel.